Hello, DigiDestins. This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar. And today, I'm going to give you that warning. Don't just say shut up and take my money. That's not what we're here for today. I'm trying to let you know, though we have BT6 releasing halfway around the world right now, we have Oceanic and we have Europe right now. We should wait just a little bit longer. These prices are being overly inflated in some spots, and sometimes you're going to be paying a lot more for cards and the international shipping and all that good stuff that you just want it so early. And I know, I know, even from personal experience, don't go crazy buying. If you can justify maybe 40 bucks, pay 40 bucks for a full playset of a couple cards that are really useful for to, to you. Anything else would just be overkill on the wallet. So don't just go diving right in. So boys and girls, let's go in and predict what's fair prices or these cards that you're hyping for. So let's dive right. To talk about pricing is to take a look at what the past has done because you learn from your past equally as much as you learn from your future. So look at this alternate art Omnimon from BT.10 is $92 and then Lilith, Lilithmon alternate art is 61. The only reason why this card is probably sitting at the 61 mark is because Lilith Loop is a deck and that's the only reason it might be a demon lord and stuff like that but it doesn't matter if it's a waifu class it would have went down to maybe 40 dollars and sat there but because the deck is overly playable it is at its highest don't worry about the in-store championship stuff that's nothing we're caring about alternate alter s this card was pushing a hundred at points now look at it 41 dollars about 42 dollars you can pick this up that's crazy. And $36 for this. This card used to be 70, almost pushing 100 for Beelzebub. And look at it now $28. Alternate Art War Greymon. This baby was 50, close to $60 at points to pick this up. It's now a $28 card. That's crazy. And we have Lilithmon being Lilithmon. I remember when this War Greymon was pushing 115. This alternate art War Greymon was one of the most expensive cards. But look at it now. It is $24. Shine Greymon was another example. Yellow's big, bad, most expensive usually cards. 20 bucks. M Magna Angemon alternate art. $17. Alternate Art Mastamon. Alternate Art Gallantmon. Alternate All Fours Vijramon was 50 bucks at a point when it first released. This card was close to 50 bucks. Now 17. TK is pretty fair. It was at 32. Now it's at 16. So you can kind of see where the hype starts dying down once the format solidifies itself. Everyone's gotten their support. And to be honest with you, I don't see stores running out of BT5, BT6, BT anything for a long period of time. These these cards will be around long period of times. The only cards that won't are going to be the alternate arts. And that's facts. Like, Omnimon's Award Defeat Alternate Art. 70 bucks. That's not bad. This card used to push almost close to 90-ish, if I remember correctly. If not that long ago. And this card was like in the 40 range. It sat at 60 because it's still a good card going forwards. X Antibody. Close to $75 a piece. I paid for one. I regret that now. Because $28 is a heck of a lot cheaper. And that's 50 bucks that I could have saved. I think trade my trading credit paid for all that. But it hurt when you find out that it's only $28. Nokia here. I have plenty of her. That's crazy. Her box topper alternate art full art rare is $13.50. Omnimons. Blitz Omnimons. 13, 12, 12s, 13s. Shaman DX, $11. This card was $25. Close to $50 on release. This card 
was close to $30 a piece. Look at it now. This card was $15 a piece. Look at it now. Lord Nightmon, $25 a piece on its first release. It is now $5. If you're kind of starting to see this trend I'm trying to make and point across, these cards are so expensive when on release. If you wait patiently enough, they dip really quickly. Ancient Gurumon is the only card that spiked so much because it's so played heavily in this format. But outside of that, the rest dip really quickly. This card was $50 on release. This card? This card. Got me a Lusamon. On release weekend. I traded it away because as much as I loved having Yellow War Greymon, $13? Paired to me walking away with a $50 card is monumentally great. I think I won that plus battle for longevity. Like Chaos Mon alternate art is Chaos Mon alternate art. That was $50, $60 a piece. Like I sh should have moved it to be honest with you. I think I moved it actually. I moved this Chaos alternate art on release just because I didn't justify keeping that high of a price card. So, a lot of people that want to be patient enough, these cards dip quick. War Greymon, $5 card, boom, just cents on a dollar. Like, Don Debbie, cents on a dollar. Plutomon, cents on a dollar. Like, a lot of good cards got made into cents on the dollar just really quickly. It's not even funny. Like, if you wait long enough, it will be cheaper. So let's go over cards. So Marimon. No. Ma Mamamon is de decoy black and then on deletion destroy one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost 7 or less. This card, I'm going to tell you this right now. It's going to go in the way of black. Everything that black does. This is going to be a dollar card, if not less. This will be like our Armageddon Mon. It'll be a cheap really cheap card skull Greymon, great card being able to give it an in inheritable and talent a digimon in retaliation by just discarding it and then when attacking trash a card this card i'm gonna give it a i think it's gonna sit at a five dollar i don't see this thing being more expensive five dollars maybe even three i don't see it being that overpriced Next, another fair price card. I think this card is going to go right to the $3, $5 range. Even though Gankamon is a really good card, it does. It's just how the meta is going to call it. Black isn't as big and popular as fans make it. Even look at Metal Garumon from BT5. That card topped an event. And I think I can find it at the bottom of the barrel list here. Like. But let's take a quick look. I think Metal Gurumon is two bucks. So even though it's like the most paid card in the deck, it just I think Gankomon might even just in that two dollar bucket. So two dollars a dollar. Black is gonna be relatively the cheapest deck you're gonna build into. Azulamon, not 14. This card will dip to five. Give it a week. Once it's fully released worldwide, $5 card, super easy, super predictable. There's no way this card's going to fetch you profit. This card is great for Hexablau, but that's about it. It needs Hexablau. It combos well with it. That's the only way it's going to go around. Titan Mom. Let's see. Trash. One card from your hand, then play a purple level four. It's similar to Mastamon. Which is being restricted to purple. To be honest with you, $3 card. It's great in purple, and that's all it's going to be. It doesn't see play outside of that. It doesn't see anything else. This card, $40 right now. You want to predict to me how much you really think it's going to be? I'm already going to tell you this right now. Five, maybe $10. Just mine will sit at 10 do not pick it up at 40. Just hold your ground. Wait. This is going to be a $10 card. It's going to dip real fast. 
just so you know there's no reason for it to spike that high and it's just not worth it eos Mon. so when did you evolving this card i'm going to tell you this right now five maybe even a dollar card i want to say five dollars just to give it a hope but this thing's going to dip to five a dollar just because even at its worst it's restricted to its own deck and when cards are restricted to their own deck they don't seem to tend tend out to where it needs to be Dynas mom three dollar card i'm just calling it now there's no way it's gonna be higher than that just not enough no way Dynas mom does what it needs to do bond of friendship and bond of courage they're both gonna fall in the same category because they do have a deck centralized with them and they do warp quite well the only issue i have with this kind of deck is that they're just going to overprice it this card i'm going to say 25 dollars. if you can pick it up for 15 grab it for 15 it's going to be a 25 dollar card and that's where it's going to sit i think Bonds of Friendship is just such a great card going forwards and future sets. I think this is going to be one of the chase cards, but then after a while, everyone gets tired of it. It's going to dip and then just go f dip to like 10, 15 and probably sit there until a new wave of support happens. Um, Bond of Bravery, aka Bond of Courage, that pay 15 or lower. I don't see this card staying at 42. There's no way this card can stay at that value. It's going to go down to 15 maybe even $5. Like its lowest end is going to be $5. Because this card is going to be the higher chase card. Bonds of Friendship will be the higher chase card. And Be Beals of Star will be its highest chase card. Alpha Mom. I feel like the alternate art is going to sit at that 50 range for a while. And then dip once. Because it is black. It will go right down to 20. And then probably 25 it will just sit. Just where it'll be comfortable this version i see as a 20 dollars card i don't see it going any lower than that because again this card is a at least three of in most black decks anyway going forwards and then it's got a new wave of support in bt7 then when bialza star it's going to be the loose amount of the set it's going to be the chase card it's going to be the everything like that so it's 60 dollars flat out i don't see it any other way anything higher than that not worth it then it's going to dip down to probably 50 because this card is going to be the chase there there's no other card in the set that's just as powerful as Beelzebub star they are equally confident but for secrets wise this will be probably the loose amount of the set or volt you know so work defeat i don't see anybody paying higher than that Let's talk about, you know, a little bit about the promos. So let's get that full screen here. So let's talk about rares. Like I'm comfortable talking about word rares right now. So Morphamon, a dollar. Akamon, that 750 ain't happening. I'm telling you this right now. 750, that's this is gonna be like a three dollar card. This card, a buck, maybe less. This card, absolutely penny junk drawer. This card, fantastic card, and I'm not going to lie. $3 sticker price, cool. This card's probably going to stick at three. I don't, it will probably dip to 150 until it starts topping, but outside of that, don't expect anything crazy. This card's like a Gaia Force, and Gaia Force sits at those weird interval numbers. Of like five to ten dollars i think this card will definitely sit in at like two bucks once people start realizing how good it is in security control then you have rattle star rattle star is just a great card all in all i think this will be a dollar card next another dollar card will be red reamer red reamer is just another cheap card in itself it's going to be like a dollar card if not lower then you have sister mom blanc even though it's a sister mon and it's the only one that didn't get an alternate art well alternate design choice because it has a staff so it's just accurate i think she's gonna be like a 
three dollar card nothing crazy next seal seal will be probably a three dollar card just because it really only facts fixes well with royal knights or hakmon hakmon so definitely take that with how you want to go let's talk about a lot of the promos and tamers and then a few other rare cards i think we should talk about so we have pagumon i'm gonna be honest with you probably two dollars maybe three because they're so easy to pull Karibimon, a dollar it's not really that expensive of box topper it's not crazy Pinamon, probably another dollar box topper this card's gonna be a least the five dollar hunter and this card's gonna be probably the ten dollar hunter because the reason i'm saying this red will play this for a while and this one will get played as well for a while but this one i feel like is going to fall into the two dollar range it's nothing crazy it's pretty good don't get me wrong it's just expense wise it's not worth it then the alternate art gobblemon they're gonna try to stiff you for probably like 15 20. to be honest with you i can see it as a no five dollar card after it dips it just it's great for bonds of friendship and bonds of courage the same with the agumon i feel like both gonna be like a five dollar card they're just gonna overhype it for a while just wait on it don't pick it up the common ver uncommon version is gonna do you well don't rush to flash out your deck until at least two weeks after the set releases fully in the world agumon this card's gonna be like the agumon it just doesn't gain enough value for its high, high price. If they try to sell you for 10, just go give them three. Three dollars is acceptable for that. Morphamon's alternate art is just really interesting. It's going to be one of those two dollar alternate arts. It's nothing crazy. Next, Impmon. Impmon's alternate art might fetch at around five bucks, but nothing too crazy. Five bucks. Gilmon promo, I'm going to say $3 is fine and acceptable. Sister Mon Blanc, this card will probably be one of the more expensive cards because it is going to be the waifu tax. I'm going to say if you're going to pay for it, maybe like 10 to 15 would be justified for it. You'll probably see it for 25. Wait till it hits like 17 and then pick it up. Just wait. The they, You do not need max rarity. Then you have Pulse Mon. This card, I, I'm going to be honest with you, don't expect it too high. I think the alternate art will probably sit at a fine, lovely $8. I don't see it being too expensive. This Kudemon is going to be probably like $7. Might dip further. This Kasurimon, even though it's a Diabormon favorite card, going to be like a $3 promo topper. Wizardmon, $3 promo topper. There's no reason for it to be any higher than that. Sistermon Sealed, I'm going to say maybe in the 25 range. It'll just sit comfortably there. If Pick it up at like 25. Anything higher is just a waste of money. Wyvern's Breath, probably going to be like our $3 card. Just because it's so good in yellow in general going forwards. They got a Gaia Force. Hercules Kabuterimon, this card is going to be like cents gonna be like your grand kawagamon a dollar or less but you have izzy joe being izzy joe this card definitely three dollars if you can pick it up for three or five pick it up don't sleep on it it's a great card next matt ishida matt ishida i do not s support this sticker price here i do not 24 dollars for it <laughs> i don't agree with that this three dollars yeah i definitely agree with that this 16 no I, I i see these both trying to put this will sit at 16 maybe even 12. this will sit at five she will sit a lot less than that five dollars this this will be like a two dollar card and that's just pretty much the icing on the cake boys and girls just take that with a grain of salt i know this was a pretty long video but i really don't want you guys to get ripped off or misrepresented so please do wait for the product don't rush it don't rush to buy it just get it at leisure pace don't 
have to worry about big tournaments right now. Nothing's really set in stone for North America for until November anyway. And then what we have BT7 coming around the corner. It's really rough for the people that want to play it like myself. So guys, remember, wait patiently, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.